Yeah, that's the latest save. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> they are even chunkier on the C though. Uh, so yeah, here we return. Oh, it actually... Okay, when you save, you get outside of the battle, I guess. Okay, we saved inside the battle, but I guess the battle will continue in a split second. As we try to... We have to... Oh, it's, we had to send all our other ships to repairs. We, at the moment, all the ships we have in the Guadalcanal region are these four destroyers. And they're not having a great time right now. They set, brought in some more reinforcements to Milan Bay, which we tried to take away from the Americans so that we have a stepping stone towards Port Moresby on New Guinea. I wish there would be two bases. At least, at least uh, Buna should be here, as in another Japanese base up here. It sadly isn't in this map. Uh, I hope that will be added eventually. Um... But yeah, Guadalcanal also under uh, heavy siege. Oh, that's one more vessel we have on the battlefield, the I-17. But that one we might want to get home because it currently doesn't have a plane. And we might want to get another plane on this submarine. Though it hasn't used any of its torpedoes, so I think for now we'd just be fine with keeping it on patrols around... the slot. No American other bases has, have been taken. Santa Cruz Islands and Rennell Island not taken. Malita and so on also not taken. New Georgia. So we are fine in that aspect. But yeah, this aspect here is not fine. Our task force here is trying to run away and is hunted by a good amount of enemy forces here. And we are out of... Oh no, we still have 8 torpedoes on these. But we are out of torpedoes here. So not that much we can use to defend ourselves. We did got one torpedo in it last hit in last time. But we will see how it goes. What we got on the way though are some Betty Bombers. And some Zeros. They will try to keep an eye on this. And actually the enemy seems to be disengaging here now. Or did they change course? Okay, they come back down on us. Uh, maybe not. Seems like our disengaging is working. And we are up with some welds, though I'm not quite sure if they have the range to actually reach here. Ooh. And there are some planes coming up. And we have to go into this combat. I'm not sure if this is still in. Do we have planes in here? No. Okay, we just have enemy planes coming up. And our fighter cover is not around as they keep it taps on the enemy air. Um, yeah, we'll see what is trying to hunt us down here on the oceans. As you can see we have Minakasa class, two uh, old Minakasa class destroyers and then two Shiratsuyu class destroyers in the rear. The Muazame and the Shiratsuyu. Pretty good destroyers with four torpedoes in each and two launchers and reloads. Especially the reloads are something that together with the torpedo technology themselves was an advantage over the American destroyers. So we pay for it in a bit less guns than some of the more modern American destroyers. Um, so far no aircraft spotted. Does that stay this way? Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, what are these? It looks like it's fighter aircraft. Wonder if these will just try to strafe us then? Do they have bombs? Not sure if the American planes can use bombs. Ah, uh, they're for sure coming in. Okay, they're using strafing tactics on us. They're getting some damage. But they have to be careful. Okay, this one didn't get damaged. But they damaged the Murasame slightly. And our AA on these ships. 
American AA, obviously outclassing Japanese AA by a good margin, so we're not getting the kills that we want. And I sh tried to go with bigger UI, because I think the UI is a bit hard to read on stream, but it does seem like it's overlapping then, at least partially, like this. Though I guess this is, this is still fine, so that you can read the situation a bit better. And let me know if you like this better, or if you think you'd like the 1.0 better. <laughs> yeah, the, the lack of Swedish weaponry on Japanese ships. I know, it was more down to their caliber, them still using calib uh, AA pieces with too low range to be really effective. And then also... <laughs> Not having the best targeting system, plus having a relatively uh, small uh, magazine, so you had to reload relatively quickly. Then it, and yeah, so that all led to their Type 21 AA pieces here that you see, I think, on the sides being mediocre. Uh, the enemy not coming around, it seems like, or are they? I think we can just disengage. I think that was all that was. Luckily, no dive bombers around. As yeah, as you can see, our AA is not the best, but yeah, that seems to be it. We don't shoot anything down. We also don't see, take too much damage. Enemy ships still where they were before. Baddies coming in with torpedoes. Enemy troops landed on Guadalcanal again, okay. Let's try to figure out what that was. Are they coming around the other side? Let's just have you circle around Guadalcanal. Was it really just submarine convoys for the Americans? Okay, more planes it seems to be. Around our task force group. Murasame. Damage report. Your integrity is slightly damaged now. And it stays lower. You can, can't repair things up to full life anymore, which is a good change. Don't know. I think it's a decent like light show. It's a good, relatively good representation, like not every gun is completely firing. Uh, okay, those are the same fighters. You can see they're damaged, so this time we might get some of them. And if they come in, in splits, so not all going for the same ship. This time they might go, for the, it looks like they're going for a different ship. They weren't trying to hit the Shiratsuyu. Might have gotten some slight damage in here, yeah, but nothing mm -hmm. major. Ooh, up here though, got some damage, and we got some bomb drops this time, okay. So they have some bombs loaded. Uh, we downed at least one of them this time. The others just didn't launch their bombs, or did they all miss last time? Or what was that? I oh, know that was the plane, it was not... It was the plane crashing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the plane crashing, okay. It's Wildcats, luckily. Luckily, the opponent doesn't have Hellcats just yet. Uh, yeah. It's Wildcats on the other side. Okay, they got us in flames, so our ship got slightly damaged here. Bit annoying, but... Still nothing to worry about too, too much. Oh, as I say that, we need to get our repair teams down to the flames. Okay, we need to tr get you down to zero speed so you have time to get repairs on. Nothing around us that is endangering us other than the flames. But that should be controllable. Yeah, yeah, we have enough repair teams. It goes into another segment we will have to position these but I think they have it under control yes they do no danger around anymore so stopping for repairs is fine get you on the way again 
that we can jump out here now. Yep. And we left the battlefield now as well. We got one aircraft. We got more damage. But the important part is we have baddies on the way to hit these. We have welds on the way to hit these. So. And we have zeros around that could help with strafing. Well, 50 cults can maybe not this, uh, hit the armor, but they can for sure do damage to destroyers. And they for sure can set them aflame. And, and, okay, we have some air battles now coming up as well. What do we have in this guy's zeros? <laughs> okay, a lot of zeros. Um, this time it shouldn't be too easy for them to strafe them. Uh, yeah, they. Ha I'm pretty sure they have a chance of setting them aflame. Like, there is enough stories of Japanese zeros also strafing destroyers and smaller ships, gunboats, and so on. Like, there's enough things on these ships that is not covered by armor. Like, the, the funnel is not heavily that heavily armored. They can, if, if with a lucky hit, they can set up a torpedo, and there's enough other flammable things on the ship that also could get hit and set a place. Yeah. Mm, we want to keep it, these around our ships. The squadron keeps on scouting here. Okay. You attack one, yep. Once more fighters. Oh, it's actually once more the same three fighters. They really keep taps on us. Okay, but this time they for sure won't make it out. 12 zeros engaging down on them. But they already get shredded by the AA pretty well. One of them downed. They now try to disengage. Zero over here. Comes in, AA is firing on top of this one as well. Aircraft one is downed. Now it's all to one to this Hellcat, a eh, Wildcat. Coming around. Trying to disengage. But the zeros are faster. Can't really run. And the zeros are also more maneuverable than these planes. So we get the shutdown. And we are able to get them all this time. So now what needs to happen is us getting down here. Well, still have 113 kilometers of range. You are on the way out. You are on the way down, okay. Stay over the field here. You don't have too much left. We need to get you onto the tactical map here. And then we're gonna attack with the welds and the zeros and try to overwhelm the enemy air defense. But there's a lot of stuff to be done there. Is it still... is the damage chip under them? When we hit with a torpedo. Yes, that's chip number four. Okay. The zeros... We'll try to hit the destroyers in the front. Oh no, the destroyers are in the rear, right? Fuck, where are they? Uh, getting slightly lost here. Yeah. Ooh, our, aren't they there? Uh, I'm blind. Okay, that's... Oh no, I'm, I'm looking from a zero's perspective. Uh, that's why. Okay. Okay, it's, now I swiveled around too wildly. 
I really hate that this is inverted, but I said that before. Okay, the destroyers are on the rear. Okay, zeros. Attack. Zeros. Attack. Oh god. Uh, you're flying from a weird angle. The welds will try to line up. And then come around. <laughs> yeah, destroyers. Well, a lot of the smaller destroyers have like 200 man crews. I think you can. They tell you in the game. The crew amounts. You have 180 here on the Shiratsuyu. 200 on the Asashio. 240 Kagero. I think that, that's the. Uh, Akatsuki might have more? Yeah, Akatsuki have 300. Then on the Allied side, maybe the Fletchers are slightly bigger? But I don't think so. I think 300 is like the max for the destroyers. 250, 290. I think Fletcher's. Oh no, Fletcher has 330. Yeah. Okay, welds. Attack. Come around. Lie as fast as possible. And get him. Yeah, it absolutely is. Okay. We will lose a lot of planes here. But if we can get some bombs on this ship, that would be lovely. And then maybe our baddies can do the final blow. Though so I'm not quite seeing how our baddies get many torpedoes off here against this AA screen. Now the welds are still too far forward. Okay, actually welds. Reduce speed. Heroes are still a good bit off. Ah, shit. Not coming in with perfect timing. We can't tell you to re slow down anymore, can I? I think now it worked, but now you're already in AA range, so now you might as well not be slow. Okay. That's a lot of AA fire. Yeah, our zeros come in. From the wrong at the wrong time. I don't think are, the, are you under fire yet? No. So all the fire of the enemy is focused around our welds. It hopefully got their bombing run through still. Okay. So far so good. Oh. Come on, get 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 me some hits. And then get out to the left. With full speed. Okay, one well down. Got some bombs in. Oh, two wells down. Yeah, this zero squadron can form up again and try to get the hell out. The other one pushes their attack through. But afterwards, we'll just fly over. Oh, come on. Ah. Okay, form up as well. And just get the hell out of there. 
I don't want to lose too, too many of you. But we got some good hits in. We got some good hit hits in. It's not burning too, too badly though. We didn't get an ammo explosion or anything like that. So I think it should still stay afloat. Okay, two wells made it out. Uh -huh. Still fair trade. Yeah, it's listing for sure. I had a torpedo on this side before. So that's, I think, the reason why it's listing. But it's not a dangerous list yet. There's still a lot of freeboard. Yeah, yeah. That's a, this is not a lethal dosage yet. But it's crippled enough now that our baddies, especially if our baddies come in with a couple of zeros uh, annoying the enemy AA, we might have a chance. We just need to spot them in a, now again, because this game does it so that you lose line of sight after an engagement, so which makes sense for the surface engagements. For an AA and for air engagements, it's a bit annoying. You always have to choose when to engage. I guess we kind of only have to follow this. Okay. I want to take those fighter planes. Fighters. Force. Get there. Oh, there we go. Baddies. You still have enough for sure to come around. Oh, you only have enough for getting there okay we were way too fast there for a split second force come around oh you already have to go home okay we we'll wait for the zeros to come around as well before we attack with the baddies okay you are in range slightly further south Ooh, nice, we got some command points again for some repaired ships. Uh. Oh, okay, we got our weekly command points. Okay, tactical, let's go. We have eight baddies. Where's the enemy? Oh, okay. One baddie formation going there. The other baddie formation going here. Zeros of group 9. Closing in. Okay, timing this won't be easy. Oh shit, you're going the wrong direction, baddies. Get the hell out of AA range. Oh shit. Enemy ship already turning. Ah, uh, we have turned the other way around, baddies. Uh, get you lower already. We don't have to take that into account later on. Speed up though. Want to keep you out of range. Okay, enemies already doing some maneuvering. Uh, I need you low. I can just. That here. I need you low. And okay, that won't be easy to time. Zeros. Come on. Come around here. Is it still the fourth ship? Yeah, it's still the fourth ship. Okay. These baddies will take a while to come around. So we need to time that. Ooh. What are they? What's the maneuver? How are the ships maneuvering over there? Slight turn to the left. Okay. That should be interesting. It could be a good run here. Could get the first American 
cruiser destroyed this in this engagement. We play our cards right. Don't think the enemy is anywhere close to losing all their ammo. Okay. What is the di can you measure distances? Other than to target. Oh, oh yeah, right, right. I forgot to move it up this time. Yeah. I mean, you can put a big torpedo below them. I mean, all nations had two engine torpedo bombers, but... Yeah, these also not putting any armor on your torpedo bombers is also kind of crazy. <laughs> like I think that's the that's the even crazier part. Okay, this time we go all out for that cruiser. We can get it at flames. We are in a good spot. Betty formation one wants to slow down a bit to give Betty formation two and the zeros a bit of time. Okay. Ready formation two is coming in. Ah, the zeros still have to come down, right? Ah, that's the ah, uh, baddies, break, baddies, break. Break off for once. You can also get into a better spot here, maybe. Okay, now the zeros come in. Okay. Zeros are coming in from behind. Okay, baddies. Start turning again. Baddies. Oh, under fire already. Beat you up again. Oh, you're too fast. Okay, the other zero formation is coming in better. Huh? Oh, they're, they're going for five, right. Yeah. Peg. Oh, this is not a good angle. Also not a good angle here, flying directly over enemy dis uh, cruisers. Two already trailing smoke. One down. Shit. Two down. Come on, push the attack through. Ah, they are doing good evasive maneuvers here. We got one torpedo out. Two torpedoes out. But the angle here is horrible. We're coming in from the f completely wrong angle. Yeah, they improved the AI a lot. Like, AI maneuvering is better, but we... Have them somewhat pincered, not quite perfect timing, but it, we might get two hits here. And two hits might be good enough to get this thing under. Nice. It's aerial torpedoes after all. Yeah, we lost. We lost five out of seven baddies. Uh, out of eight baddies. And we lost. Three, four zeros already. Three, three zeros already. Okay, there's fire under deck. Just keep the. This, this, oh wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're dropping hard. Uh, airplanes crashing into stuff also they does deal damage. Uh, they modeled that. Okay, it's for sure dead in the water. But it doesn't look sinking. It, if it would have eaten three torpedoes at the same time, like it did eat one Type 93, three torpedoes at the same time and the bombs at the same time would have most likely overwhelmed the damage control teams. But I don't think this thing is going under. 
Unless we get an ammo explosion. If we don't get the kill, it's counted as not worth. Yeah. We lost... F yeah, we lost a lot of baddies. Five baddies for a heavy cruiser would be worthwhile. Easily. As someone who plays War in the Pacific, <laughs> uh, Gary Krixby, uh, that that would be worthwhile. But yeah, not getting it, obviously not so much. Because our betting numbers will take a while to recover. Uh, sadly, stuff like pilot experience is not modeled in, in this game. I don't think any mod has modeled it in either. And you don't have any... yeah. So, experience is not a part yet. That would be a great addition. And yeah, they have it under control again. And we don't have anything to follow this up. Like, if we would have a cruiser formation nearby that now could follow this up, I would say lovely. But we don't have anything to follow this up. How did you get moderate damage? I guess it was our zeros in the last game? In the last one? Okay. Oh, one didn't launch its torpedo. Okay. Turn to base. <laughs> it feels like panic buying on air man. Okay, we have 68 points now. How are our rest and repair lists? Okay, these are soon back in business. We will have a good task force back out again tomorrow. Uh, but at least, and at least these destroyers didn't take any harm and got their payload off. But yeah, the rest of the day here will be not that busy. I mean, I thought four baddies, uh, eight baddies, and the four wells would be able to kill off a damaged, like. Already got hit by one torpedo. We would have gotten in three torpedoes, we would have gotten the kill here. I'm pretty sure. Like, it's it's one torpedo off of going under. But sadly, only... Th like, if the, the first Betty wave would have come in from a better angle, if the enemy wouldn't have maneuvered as well as they did, I think we would have had a good shot there. One or two torpedoes of the first spread would have gotten a hit in. Well, as I said, it's new that they maneuver so wildly. Like, that's good. That's great. And that the AI does some defensive maneuvers, but I have to get better at it. And I'm, I'm not sure if there's a range measuring tool. If so, I might miss have missed that. Like... You have range measured down below to target, but before you choose a target, it's a bit tough to decide at which time the bombers come in. I mean, we weren't not super far off with the pincer. Like, the pincer was actually fine. The spread was actually perfectly... Like, it was not from both sides, but the... Actually, the, the angle of the pincer was pretty good, and the timing was not that bad either. Just that we did fly directly over two enemy cruisers before we came in. Was not that nice. <laughs> like that was a bit dangerous for us. We're gonna see what we get with all the points we get tomorrow again. When our ships come back into service. We have 86 points. Could get a light carrier task force out. Around the Ryujo or so. Uh, you are all slightly damaged. Urasame. I think I want to release you. And then rearm ships. Yeah, you have your torpedoes back. Um, and then we just gonna wait till the next day comes around because then we should get enough points to do stuff. Air operations now available. When is the next day starting? How many baddies do we recover per day? Okay, we're, we recovered two per day. So it's not that bad, actually. Uh, like, yeah. We lost half of the baddies. The zeros 
are annoying, but we get enough zeros in this game. Rebel ready to launch aircraft. When is the. We just wait till the, the eighth day. Uh, that doesn't feel great. But we, then shouldn't we get set here? Repair. Available in one day. Okay, yeah. And that didn't tick. I don't think so. Uh, Shimakaza is the, the Minikaza class destroyer that took a hard beating last time, but with its smokescreen did a good job. Ooh. Weather scattered. Ooh. Ooh. That could be an opportunity. Mm, what's your speed? Do you have any speed? Yeah, okay, you have a speed. Don't do that, please. Um, are we starting at Paris? Periscope death. Get the scope out. Okay, we. Oh, that's a convoy. Okay. Could get some merchant ships here. It's two light cruisers in the front. Then there is a merchant ship here. That's, I think, what we tried to target. Ship four. Could get some extra damage out of. Getting that as well. Two destroyers in the rear are scary. We have how many? Six. Yeah. We might want to fire. How is our solution? Our solution is going up really quickly. We might want to fire actually three on this and then three more on the light spread. 4% on the on 5. Let's try to hit 5 first. Isn't It's the formation. Oh, 5 is the the cruiser there. Uh Okay, hey, that's an interesting formation. But yeah, let's try to hit 5 S send some towards 5 and then let's try to hit 4 afterwards. But we have to wait a bit longer. It's a Cleveland, okay. I mean, we don't want to send these at this angle. Have to wait a bit longer. Then get a bit closer. Yeah, the attack, the, the attack also might have saved my 40 Ds. That's right as well. They otherwise might have hunted me down. So that's true as well. And the 40Ds did their job to get stuff to Mount Bay, so that was worthwhile as well. Um, have to just really worry about Guadal Canal now. But I wanted to play this campaign a bit more risky. Um, okay. I think we're getting close to it. They're also really close now in distance. Okay, once they are out, we will switch target to this. Okay, they are out. Switch target to this, get a solution up quickly, fire, and then we dive. Okay, they're not perfectly targeted. Um, you should have waited longer. You can see, I'm my, my last time Silent Hunter was a while ago. <laughs> Obviously, you also m miss a couple of tools here that you have in Silent Hunter. This is rather rudimentary when it comes to, but it's an RTS and not a. Well, it's like, a, yeah, not a not a submarine simulator, in that regard. Compared to Silent Hunter, okay, scope down. Silent, get away. Go deeper.
You know, the first spread of torpedoes already might hit ship 4. As it ha tries to get through. But this is... Well, actually the angle is not terrible. I don't think we hit ship 1. Oh, ship 2 here. Wait, where... Where's the ship? Huh? Okay, we're just slightly behind. There come the torpedoes. But it actually might already hit ship four from astern. Uh, uh, come on. Okay, yeah, we hit ship four t twice already, maybe even. No, okay. These go pass by. But that's not great for spread number two. No, Cleveland also close, but not running a torpedo one. Oh no, it's actually running a torpedo one. Into torpedo one, okay. And the destroyers are now out for hunting. Okay, this. One of these torpedoes should hit, right? At least one. Uh, the two. Okay, yeah, that ship is down. Oh! One more got hit in the rear by one of the others. And that's actually also going towards the last one. Oh boy! The damage might actually save it from this torpedo. Yeah, that was obvious. Three torpedoes, three long lances into a... Okay, no, it still is on power... It's perfectly on course for getting hit by another one. Getting one torpedo into a cruiser that now has heavy listing. Good damage there. That's a perfect spread. Yeah, this is... There we go. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's hitting perfect. Perfect space for a torpedo hit. Uh, killing that thing dead in the water. Flames... In the front now fire in the rear as well damage control team spread out throughout the ship and you don't have much damage control on the ship like this so now the question only is will our submarine get away should be relatively deep by now in a running s island oh no yeah, it's ultra quiet doesn't tell you anywhere if it's ultra quiet or not. That could be something helpful. Meanwhile, this thing is burning. And listing to the left, obviously. Now, you can do counter flooding in this game as well. You can see you can use this for compartment flooding. And it seems like they're doing that right now. But that's obviously not great in the long run either. You can also do Flooding for getting out fires, but this fire is on deck and not below deck. And it doesn't seem like they have found me, as these destroyers seem to be rather widely running around. Get you up a bit in speed. We by now are on a depth. Is there a maximum depth set? Test depth? Okay, 100 meters. On our side, what is what does it say for our submarines? 100 meters, okay. We don't want to go be... Well, 110 is actually fine, but let's go on 100 meters down. That's this. Is burning out. Come on, sink. That thing is not surviving. Can't tell me that. I think they have one or two damage control teams. And there's so much fire across the board. Like, there's something below deck in the rear as well. Yeah, there we go. That's usually the death sentence in this game. When that happens. And we're getting away. Destroyer's turning to the wrong side as well. Like, they're going down here, I think. Come on. Yeah, there we go. With that, we leave. They don't have a... 
the, what is cool in this game is that they even modeled like different layers of water for sonar. Like the sonar system, the ASW uh, system in this game is actually relatively mo well modeled for a game of this scope and so on. Like, yeah, that's what what was on one of the things when I saw it that drew me to this game. And yeah, sinking two escort ships, and then obviously this this like grand strategy map, something great as well. Okay, now we go home with this. We still have six more torpedoes, I think, or eleven more torpedoes. But I want the aircraft to be back on board. Mm, and yeah, that's why I go back now. But he didn't find anything. It was five out of six hit, I think. But hey, there we go. There we go. Our, our ship's getting repaired. 96 new points. We can set up a force now. And I want to build a force around... Ryuzhou is relatively expensive. Juiho is a bit price, uh, cheaper in price. Um, obviously, the air wing on Juiho, not as great. But we're going to go with our first carrier. <laughs> I don't want to go too carrier heavy in this playthrough because I think carriers are relatively exploitable. Um, but a couple of carriers can't hurt. Uh, and we want to go with DDs. We obviously are the Japanese, so we're going to go with Japanese. And I think we want to have two Akitsukis with this. The Akitsukis have great AA. And... AA is what we want with this. Maybe even four. Like, but I want to have 80 points around to build another task force. So we go with this. And then... You see, we want to have another heavy cruiser task force. And I think the Miyokos are both back up. Yeah, Naichi and... Miyoko are both back up. But that's already pretty pricey. Let's set us up at 52 points. Mm. Which means when it comes to CLs, we might not be able to afford any. Well, Tenryu is relatively slow. Kumas are pretty fast and relatively affordable. So we go with a Kuma. What is your torpedoes? You you have all torpedoes on the Kumas though. Uh, we might actually not go with Kuma. Remove. We we only go with destroyers then. And we don't go with Momis, that's for sure. Uh, we go. Could go with Chiratsuis again. I said I wanted to go with a bit better. I think we go with Asashios. Leaves us with six points. Mutsuki, uh, that's not a great one. Fubukis? Ah, Fubukis are seven. Okay, then we go with Kamikaze class. And I guess we can go with some Mutsukis then. Still all torpedoes. Eight fear. At least better. At least better than the one you get on the Minakase. On the Minakase, you get only the, the six fear type torpedo. Mutsuki, I think it's the, yeah, slightly better, but it's not the Type 93. Because, yeah, the Mutsuki one at least have the speed, but they don't have the, uh, have the range, but they don't have the speed. But we, we will go with this. And then we go with two lines. Two columns right. And we switch the Kagero, the Naichi, and the Miyoko. I mean, we could, go to, we could go with two Kageros and then... Actually, let's not go with the Mutsukis. We could go with two Kageros and two seven-cost ones. I don't like to go with individual one. We could go with two Fubukis here in the rear. Um, yeah. We go with this. Done. That means our... Savakaza needs to wait around for longer until something comes around. Um, yeah. Okay, that's what we want. I want you to... 
We want you to move around here. We we do one more run towards Milan Bay. Oh no, we need something passed on to. How much supply can you get on these ships? Manage cargo. You can't get any. Force. I think we go once more to Milan Bay and then we try to get a bigger task force towards uh Corridor Canal next time when we come around. But the campaign place has improved a big time with damage being more permanent and the return of like the aircraft carrier damage to aircraft carrier planes also being more permanent and so on, like all of these not repairing daily. But you actually have to release them and get them back off later. I'm playing the base game at the moment. The, the modded version is even is way more detailed. Like TTE has stuff over here, for example, has two more bases. And has way, 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 way more aircraft models and stuff. But I didn't want it to learn all the small biddies uh, yet. If I make do an American campaign, I might play with TTE. But on my first campaign back into this game. I want to play with Vanilla, first of all, to see how Vanilla improved, and second of all, because I think TTE is a bit too much for me right now. Mm. Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. Also annoying, this game can't be played in window full screen mode, so whenever I tap out, it, the window closes. <laughs> mm. Like, that plus. It always closes. Uh, yeah, we have, as you can see, baddies here. Can we launch all 12 at once? Or we, you can even launch all 12. You have a couple of choices for the weapons loadout on these as well. You can use bombs too. You can... It, okay, so you can launch flights of 12 at once. The Zeros, I think, had 60 kilogram bomb loadouts before. Or that might have been TTE. I think in TTE you have the 60 kilogram bomb loadout with these as well. Which I'm not quite sure if it's, that is historically accurate in this at this year in the war. Not sure if they used them early on in the war with 60 kilogram bombs. I know they did do use them, but not quite sure if this early on. How many ships are still in repair? How many more points do we get? Okay, the Zendais and the Destroyers. So we will... That will be a nice task force once these get back up for a cargo ship and some Destroyer escorts to get stuff towards Guadalcanal. Or maybe just a quick light cruiser Destroyer task force for runs to go towards Guadalcanal. Though so far Cactus... Cactus Air Force is not online yet. So... We might as well abuse that and try to get a cargo ship through. Uh, Welts run some long range. I think you should in future try to run this. Okay, nothing coming up from over there. Okay, on your way. Um, the Nike has... How many aircraft do you have? Two. Two Jakes, okay. One runs this. What's this? Alpha 1. Which? What key is Alpha 1, by the way? Is that Numpad 1? You do this. And then we have coverage in front of us. I think here... 
we want one zero to do scouting like oh no not not like that to do scouting like that you can't go you can't zigzag them really well i don't think no that's something you would have to do manually i'm not quite sure how to do that with this at least but yeah Zuiho ready to launch aircraft. Okay. And they also try to keep distance to your own task force this way. And so that this way we have a bit of a scouting in front of us. Hopefully not running as easily into enemy. And it's automated. Like they do it again afterwards when they come back and they can still launch. Now it's too late. I think launching always goes from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now we're closing in. Should be there around 3 a.m., maybe a bit later. Ah, we're maybe there at the wrong time. Oh. Still getting closer. Okay. How many forces do we still have on Godal Canal? Oh shit! I've, yeah, maybe I should have gone to Godal Canal. Underestimated. Okay, you're still not in range. Telling me you're still not in range of the location. Okay, shore bombardment does work. Load all cargo doesn't. Okay. Okay, now it worked. And now you run back home. We might lose good all canal now, which would be devastating. Uh, yeah, I might have overfocused Milan Bay. At least we are here now in equals. Okay, as soon as we can launch aircraft. Ah, we can't launch more aircraft now here, right? Uh, that's a problem. Uh, oh no, we can actually. Okay. Let's get six zeros down. Which task force? I didn't rename the task force down here. Um, what task force is this again? Task force nine. Okay. You are going towards Task Force 9. Okay. You are going towards Task Force 9 as well. And you have a Task Force 8. Whilst our area Task Force is trying to maneuver into position. Maybe get a strike out. Let's get one more zero for scouting purposes around here. Okay, we have aircraft cover against aircrafts coming out of Fort Moresby. And we destroyed. Their forces here. Okay, we really need to run something towards Gordal Canal next night. This is not looking hot. Okay. This is not looking hot. Zuriho can launch more aircraft. Don't think there's much reason to launch the Cates. Don't think we have seen anything that I mean we don't have seen anything. I don't think so. I don't just think so. We know we haven't seen anything, so we might I'll not do that. Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, we have air cover from over there. They're coming in time and again as well. It's nice that they have that automated now. It was like the air micro before was the most annoying part about this video game. Oh. <laughs> oh lol. Okay, our wells have spotted something down here. Uh, what is it? Is it three destroyers? Three destroyers. We don't let that slip away. I mean, highly unlikely that we will. We could, but yeah, three, uh, four wells with 250 kilogram bombs. If we hit well, we can get a kill here. And we actually might want to align better. We have the time. Let's go. There's no fighters coming for us, at least none that we know of. We might as well... Ah, but then we might want to go for Destroyer 1. I think coming in like this is better for these. Not quite sure. Like obviously with torpedo bombers you want to approach from the side, but I think here... This is easier, at least from my experience from War Thunder, which obviously is quite limited knowledge about how to dive bomb. But I feel like it's easier to hit a ship if you have more space, like, depth-wise. We will see how our valves perform. Oh, yeah, evasive maneuvers done by the destroyers. Not an easy target. Let's see how it goes. Let's go into photo mode. Oops. Okay, we got some hits in. But I don't think it was enough to deal much damage there. But it also seems like we might get out of all our wells. So that's totally fine. Three direct bomb hits. Get speed up. Get out. Have one more look with the binoculars. Don't want to. Yeah, we, uh, no flames, no nothing. We, we just get out of here. But I mean, w yeah, worthwhile. We did some damage. An Amer American ship that needs to get repaired. And our stuff did what it needed to do. You can stay around here then. Okay. Uh, ship, so you need to get closer. Yeah, one zoom level more would be nice. You could zoom in one more level closer, but I guess they didn't want to do it because then the polygons really show. Uh, but you are sometimes a bit, it's a bit finicky to get close enough to the map. Okay, I think we just merge you. Uh, merge with other group. Oh yeah, we have to i to take you. And you are a Minikaze class, so we will get one more Minikaze. In a new ship group. We then also merge. Or we could just get a Fubuki. We get just another Fubuki. That all then merges groups. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. And rearm. No, not release. Rearm all ships. And manage cargo. We need more groups on Guadal Canal. So that's your duty, guys. And that's your duty now. Twenty-eight, twenty-four hour, uh, twenty-two hours and nine seconds. Okay. 
Yeah, supplies and troops on Guadalcanal, not great. But we're on the way. Um, rearm. Does rearm also give you your aircraft back? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you are a bit slower. You will try to get back in there. We don't want to go much further than this with the Ruiho. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, aircraft can start again. The wells doing their recon. You are not task force four. You are so phase one. Surface task force one. Okay. And You are CVL one. Okay, and you are just the eye. That's fine. I think our search cone here is also fine. Uh, we want to get you to cover our CVL task force. Oh no, actually, want to. You're closer. Yeah, zeros. We want to have you cover surface task force and you from up here cover CVL task force, help out. And then here we launch aircraft again, go for extra zeros that cover surface task force, and then Launch aircraft from Suiho for more. And then we have a decent or five, five for here, and then we have it still enough to cover our own task uh, strike package in the future. A uh, four would have been better, maybe. This coverage encounter with well. Oh, another. Three enemy destroyers. Are these the same as three, three destroyers is the question. I mean, it could have reached here by now. Could be. That might actually be the same task force. That is actually maybe the better angle. This way we hit them somewhat. Okay, but they're moving away. Yeah, that looks like it's the same destroyers. So we will try to hit the same. I think this is slightly damaged. Okay. Okay, they're trying to run away. They're doing invasive maneuvers. I think we only hit it with 60 kilogram bombs last time. And let's go in like this. Yeah, this game is pretty cinematic. Obviously, graphics are relatively on the low end, but with such massive stuff to cover, everything else would also eat PC like nothing else and be a pain to model as well. And I think the graphics are just just fine. Like, it's not immersion-breaking in their graphics. Okay, okay, so the, the, the damage chip did leave... did leave the group, it seems. Mm -hmm. Interesting, like, yeah, the, the AI for sure has improved, like, if in nothing else, then in its variety. Like, maybe it still does not react as well to you, but it acts differently, and that already throws some wrench into your plan. Before they were always just going straight often, which was super boring, but like now the damage ship tries to get away from you, stuff like that. Oh, oh. Ooh, some solid hits this time, but 
not that much fire. Okay. I don't think this thing is dead yet. We this time got a 250 kilogram bomb into the middle of the ship. Pretty much dead center. I think one 250 kilogram bomb exploded. And then maybe one or two 50 kilogram bombs. What does it say? Yeah. Three bomb hits. But I think only one of them was a 250 kilogram bomb. One plane for sure didn't hit anything. Like the ship on uh, the, the plane on our left didn't hit anything. The ship seems to be dead in the water. But it doesn't look like they will go down. Yes, I am German. Space traveler. I am German. Okay. This should be it. We get out of here. Yeah, moderate damage now. Interesting. Uh, we could maybe send our baddies to try to find it again. Oh, we could send. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's try to send our baddies. With bombs? With two four kilogram H E bombs. Uh, single zeros out here. Try to spot them. Single zeros out here to try to find them again. Really want to find that. This game in multiplayer would be just so much fun. Like, obviously, they would have to change a couple mechanics, so it makes sense that it isn't multiplayer at the moment. But still, this game in multiplayer would be a lot of fun. Okay, let's send more. We haven't found them yet. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Obviously, uh, like by now they also made different task forces differently hard to spot. Can't be that far away yet, can they? So that's also pretty nice. Like depending on weather, it doesn't tell me the weather. Oh no, I can just show weather. Yeah, they also have a weather map, right? Uh, depending on weather, different task and the size of the task force and so on. They're also differently hard to, to scout. Okay, I don't think that's the right direction to go. Okay, weather changed. Okay, we have 36 more points. I think that's perfect for another small... We said we wanted to use that they don't have any. And we tried to use two of these. And then the device. We don't go with Momi. I mean, because they have six points already, right? But Take actually is also only uh, 48 death charges, but they don't have any sonar? No, they have active sonar. Okay, when we go with Watakis. For Watakis. Uh, swap them out like that. Is that working? No, that doesn't work, right? Yeah, you have to do that individually. Le Boomstick, thanks for the follow. And two lines, right? And then... Uh, manage cargo. 200 here, 200 here. These can carry a bit less. 1000 here, 2000 supply here, 320 supply here, 320 supply here. And then you make yourself on the way to Guadalcanal. Let's go. Let's go, Shed. Yeah, you have weather map here. Show enemy contacts, obviously. Locations. Okay. This is slowly approaching. Our carrier task force around Zuiho, I think, might want to approach a bit closer as well. Wait, why is our... Where are our... I oh, know our Jakes are out. Okay. It's like, where are our Jakes really scouting? But yes, they are. Okay. 
Yeah, we're not gonna find these destroyers here anymore. That's pretty cool that you like that the small destroyer task force is harder to spot than a task force with CACL. Oh, oh! Enemy scout planes coming our way. Okay. That's dangerous. We're about ready to launch aircraft. I mean, we might as well try it with the baddies again. And I think the 240 kilogram HE bombs are the best idea of trying to hit these destroyers with baddies. But yeah, if they are under here, they, they are lost. We will try to find them down there. Maybe they're down there as... No, okay. And now you're pretty much out of range? No, you're not. Okay, let's get you home this way then. And see if you can find anything. Okay, scout planes coming in from the... Uh, we, it's last minute to launch aircraft here, so we need to launch our strike package now. Launch aircraft. And we, that means we can't send them with... We can't send our zeros to follow, but we want to hit that. This zero still can follow that scout plane. We can keep that up. So we go to 60% speed. We want to see where that came from. Can you find that again? Oh! Ignore. Oh, disengage for now. Oh, that's perfect. Kates, say hello there. How many, how much, ah, uh, you don't have any time left. And we can't launch aircraft now anymore, right? You can't launch more aircraft? No. Oh, hello there. No, 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 no. Stay around, stay perfectly up above this. Or we could actually engage them perfectly on sea and on land at the same time. Uh, on, and in the air at the same time. If we can come in here. How much do we have? You can loiter around for a long while. Okay, we will We will try to get the perfect blow on this. And I still want to play this one more battle. Follow that, don't lose this. Don't lose this on me now. Keep the eye on this. Oh boy. I want to zoom in one level further, as I said multiple times before. Uh, zeros, you're losing line of sight. You still can't stay around. 